In a previous video, we already looked at how we could add the free Fairlight sound library to DaVinci Resolve. But in this video, we're gonna look at how we can add our own samples, the samples that we already own to DaVinci Resolve as well. And there's actually a couple ways to do this. First, let's just head in here to our sound library. Just click your uh, button right there. And if you're in your Fairlight sound library, if you followed along from the last video, head over here and make sure you hit this drop down and go to your local database. Now you used to not be able to add sounds to your local database, but now you can. So we'll do it this way and then we'll do it the, uh, the old way, okay? So all you have to do is head to your local database, go to add library, navigate to wherever your samples, sounds happen uh, to be, you know, music, sound effects, etc. I have a bunch over here. Now I could just add the entire folder here, but that would be, that would be a ton of files. So I'm going to head in here and maybe come down to this uh, perfect swoosh. Grab that folder, select that folder. There we go, it scanned that for me. Bada bing, and now we have that, uh, that sound library loaded up in here. So if we wanna use those whooshes, make sure I have my local database selected. Uh, I'll just type in something so we can actually get a result, and then you can find your sounds. Now, what if we want to add more libraries, more sounds to our local database? Well, in that case, just come up here, hit your three dots and choose add library. Then you can head in there and add, uh, and add other, uh, other folders. Maybe I want my black octopus or my big fish audio or my own samples, whatever you want. Go ahead, select that. We'll go through all of those clips. It might take a while depending on how many clips that you have. And once you're done, all of those will be accessible. Uh, from your, in this case, your local database. You can just uh, search them out, or as we showed in the last video, just do your uh, three stars and you can go through here and uh, check out your samples. Drag them in, etc., etc. Now there is another way to do this. Instead of putting your sounds in your local database, you can actually create a database just for your sounds. So we'll click home and we can do a new database. We can call this sound library or sample library or whatever you want. And you can choose the location. So I'll put the database with my other DaVinci stuff right there. Let me come back here on V and make sure I add a empty folder. So, okay, select that folder. You can add a thumbnail here. If you want, this is a disk database. We can go ahead and create that database. Okay, so now we have created our database sound library right here. Don't even need that. We can head up here and now we have our sound library database. And from there, you can go to add library. And this is one way to keep your, you know, your databases separate if you want. So then if I wanted to, I could say grab this entire E folder, which has a ton of samples. So that's way too many samples. I could select, say, the sample library folder, select that folder, and it's going to go through literally hundreds of thousands of clips in this case. So it's going to take a while. In the past, it was usually suggested that you keep your databases separate and keep them as small as possible. So that way they are as fast as possible. Does it really matter today? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, if you have a ton of sound effects like I do, I would probably suggest that you go ahead and create a separate database for your uh, sound and sample libraries. If you're a normal person, uh, you can probably just put everything right there on your local database. But whatever you choose, uh, just rewind the video, go through the process. It's gonna be exactly the same, no matter what kind of database that you choose. Okay, we are done here. We'll come back to our sound library. And now we have our uh, sound library database right there. Again, type in a search term or we can do uh, star, star, star. See a bunch of uh, our samples right here. Head through things, play them back. We can mark in and out points, etc., etc. If you're a normal person, just put everything in your local database. If you are an audio professional and you have hundreds of thousands of files as I do, you might want to go ahead and create a separate sound library database for all of your samples. 